tennis fans, and welcome to the Tennis Now Countdown Show, where today we're bringing you the best in tennis fans behaving badly, or bizarrely, or both. Number 10. There's something about the New York atmosphere at the US Open that brings out the crazy in people. This senior citizen had the crowd going before, well, I'll let you see for yourself. Number nine, sitting in the packed stands of a sporting event lends itself to a certain liberating level of anonymity. Case in point. <laughs> oh, well done, madam. You got a smile out of rapper. <laughs> I bet he's tempted to have a look. <laughs> and then there was this Steffi Graf classic. This recent clip from the US Open. <laughs> Number eight. We don't have video of the fan inappropriately heckling Serena Williams at the Sony Ericsson Open, but we do have the aftermath. Good thing this guy was eventually escorted out by police. But it's really, I've never experienced this in about two years before. He's really nervous. Well, he's, 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 Okay, They're pointing to him right now. Oh, okay, okay. He, That's okay. Okay. he needs okay. to be removed and never come to our match again. Okay. Like he needs to be removed off WTA premises. His name needs to be taken down. Well, he's I done. I'm still gonna try to, to do something for him right I now. I want his name. He could be a stalker. He could be after okay. me. Okay. Number seven. You'd like to think the action of a professional tennis match would at least be riveting enough to keep the fans awake, especially those sitting in the front rows. That was not the case during Marco Chudinelli's recent match against Yanko Tupserovic in Tokyo. There's a gentleman who's actually fallen asleep behind the court and Ali Nili has just asked Tupserovic to wake him up. <laughs> Number six. I can't think of anything more awkward than having a stranger try to kiss me in front of thousands of people. I'm pretty sure Rafael Nadal agrees. Some scary moments here. Fan actually comes. Just talks to touch with Rafa. Everybody wants a piece of Rafa. Number five. We couldn't possibly make this list without including at least one streaker. Apparently, this Wimbledon fan wanted to put on a little show for Anna Kornikova. In the ladies' doubles, Anna Kornikova and Natasha Zverev, a good reason to be embarrassed on court number 14. A male streaker interrupting their third round match against Americans Amy Frazier and Katie Schlukeber. He had, to, had a slogan used by Kornikova to sell sports bras written on his chest to the streaker. He was later released by police without charge. The first streaker. Number four. Roger Federer likely has a host of crazy fans, but most can restrain themselves from running out on the court to mess with the Swiss maestro's silky brown locks. This guy, not so much. Came close to me, you know, and and looking back, it definitely threw me, you know, out of my rhythm a little bit. I, looking back, I, one game later, I thought that maybe I should have sat down and. Um, Number three, the next video taken at an Australian event between a match between Fernando Gonzalez and Konstantinos Economidis looks more like something we should be seeing at a European soccer game. It's a bit ugly, isn't it? Sure is. Don't often see that at a tennis game. Was this police response right or right over the top? The Victorian force is now under international scrutiny for its use of potent capsicum spray at Australia's premier tennis event. Number two. While the following fan didn't actually plan a wet one on Andy Murray, he gets plus points for persistence. Oh God, it's Andy Murray! No, 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 no. Andy, kiss me, kiss me! Andy, kiss me, kiss me! Probably not gonna happen though. I love you, man! Kiss me! He doesn't like me! <laughs> and number one. Like I said at the beginning, there's just something about the atmosphere of a US Open night match that seems to invite a touch of craziness. 
And here we have Exhibit A. That's all for today's Tennis Now Countdown show. What did you think of our list? Let us know on Facebook, Twitter, or in the comment section below. We'll see you next time here on Tennis Now.